See the starting goaltenders, Corinne Schroeder, who played her college hockey down the road at Boston University, gets the start into her fourth of the season. And on the other side for Boston, Emma Soderberg from Sweden gets the start. Still just game number four here for Boston. It's game number six for New York, and we appreciate you joining us here on this Saturday afternoon as we get started. Keller and Jakes are the defense pair for Boston as this is brought in to the zone. Good effort by Jamie Lee Ratray as it comes around to Jakes. Tried to get it down low to Hannah Brandt with Jesse Eldridge on this top line for New York. Levis, Carpenter, and Eldridge start for New York, who is in the white sweaters today. Boston going with their green look for the second time this year in the second home game of the season. So one thing that both coaches mentioned was wanting to improve the starts to this game. We saw both teams get behind in their last game. New York's gotten behind 2-0 in two games in a row, though they did win one of those. So that's something to watch in the early part of this game both ways. Played back in. It's taken away by Emily Brown. And Brown forces it forward. Courtney Kessel's been really pleased with the role that Emily Brown has taken on early in the season for Boston. Nice step by Morin right there. Being aggressive, holding that neutral zone, not allowing New York to enter their zone. There's Howie Draper, longtime head coach of the University of Alberta. Taking over the New York job. And he said he's still looking for the next step for his group, but really wants to clean up the start of this game. They played Montreal on Tuesday. Came back from a 2-0 deficit to tie it before marie Philip Poulin scored the game-winning goal. That's someone that New York does not want to see. She scored four goals already this year against New York alone. Centering try went all the way through. It was untouched before it's played back by Kaylee Fratkin stepping down the wall. And here is Hillary Knight. Lauren Gable coming off a strong effort, plays it all the way around where Jessica DiGirolamo pushed it forward, but it's picked up by New York along the wall. Out ahead for Chloe O'Rar. Gives a little bit of pressure here from Kaylee Fratkin. Out to center, Gigi Marvin picks it up. Good pass, leaving it behind for Shirley. Try to backhand it, set loose. And Schroeder jumps on top. Nice play by Rattray right there in the neutral zone. She was the one that got the puck, but she was bench side, so she was able to get the puck to the offensive zone and it helped Shirley create this chance. So a couple of opportunities in the early going. Faceoffs are gonna be something to watch in this game as well. New York has been very good so far this year. Over 55% at the dot, that is best in the league so far. Boston in a small sample size is fifth best in the league, so that would appear to be an advantage for New York and certainly something that we will look at over the course of this game. Pinned in on the near side, and New York does manage to bring it out. Chance coming back, played in behind. Both of these teams feeling each other out in the early going. It's kind of an interesting dynamic because that's a good play by Emma Woods to get a stick on it to take away the opportunity from Megan Keller. Keller coming around with a little bit of open ice. Leaves the pass in behind. Comes all the way across for Rattray. Two there, including Olivia Zafudo. Comes free for Teresa Schopsel. Now it's Keller, and that was blocked before it got through to Schroeder. Excellent forecheck here by Boston, creating a ton of chances, cycling, getting the puck low to high. Yeah, this puck has been in zone for a long time before Woods finally knocks it along to center, and Kayla Vespa plays it down the other end. So Fudo knocks it to center. And that forecheck's really been the biggest feature of this game so far. And something to keep in mind, especially with this rink at Lowell, behind the net, it's huge. So defensively, that makes it more challenging, but you can use it for your advantage on the forecheck. Here is Alina Mueller, who forces it forward. Brooke Hobson, who's getting more and more minutes for New York here recently. 
Howie Draper really happy with her play over the last bit of time. Now it's taken back the other way by Hillary Knight. And here's that top unit for Boston. Gable gives it back to Knight, comes through, slides it across, going against the green, and just missed the net wide. Nice little develop there from Gable, trying to find Knight. And had a little bit of an angle, tried to go back across with the New York defense sliding towards the near side. More forecheck here, Amanda Pelkey. Now it's Sophie Shirley who's on the line with Marvin and Pelkey here for Boston. Peyton Levis dumps in and will chase after it. And a big hit thrown in behind. Bracken couldn't get it out. Shelton throws it on with a tip in front and a good save. Emma Soderberg with her first stop of the day, a good right pad. Nice job by Levis right there, getting lost in front of the net. Offensive zone faceoff win for New York. Again, we told you that's going to be a factor today. Gigi Marvin trying to get it out of the zone. See that, like right there, it's so much harder for goalies to get the puck on rims because of this rink. There really is so much room behind the net. Part of that whole adjustment process early in the season. Some new buildings, some new familiar faces, but playing in different combinations than maybe in the past. Schaffsel again held the line. Here's Megan Keller moves all the way in and a save by Schroeder. So Megan Keller has been active early, the 27-year-old defenseman. Boston wins the draw. Keller throws it on. It was tipped in front. Schroeder found it for a moment, but couldn't put a paw on it. And it comes down to the near side. Not sure if it was tipped clean by Boston or it just kind of got knocked down. It sets up a two-on-one, back the other way, loose in front, a spinning move! Oh, what an excellent save by Soderberg, holding her spot as Abby Rock came in, tried to make a play on the spin move and couldn't get it by the Boston keeper. Excellent job by New York right here, coming in in layers. You see it a two-on-one with Jagir, but Abby Rock does a good job creating Slowing down, being patient, and she's there to pick up that puck in the slot. If she came in firing, like, full speed, she would have missed that. It's a pretty good job by Sophie Jakes as well, kind of guarding the right side of Soderberg so she could play positionally sound there. Austin brings it out, perhaps momentary numbers with Morin coming in. Abby Rock. Her shot missed wide. Hillary Knight off a bouncing puck with room. Her shot up high. Schroeder got a piece of it before it comes against the near wall. So the game's starting to open up a little bit both ways. Opportunities have still been 5-1 in favor of Boston here in the early going. Woods along the wall. It got deflected towards the slot before it was guided out. And Taylor Winsowski got it ahead for Darkangelo before it was whistled down for outside. So after some good minutes on the four check early for Boston, we've definitely seen New York push back a touch with 12-10 remaining here in the first period. Amanda Pelkey plays it along to Jakes. Got forced out well by Chloe Arard. Arard and Jaguar on this line along with Abby Rock in the middle for New York. Hobson gives it back to Jamie Bourbonnet. Out wide. After Bourbonnet set it up, Rock's miss, trying to come back with a pass, it looked like, as much as anything across the crease. There's room here for Gable. Got to it first, tried to set her up for Knight. But a good job diving down on the ice was Taylor Baker to break up that passing lane. Puts his pass, got knocked down to the neutral zone. 
New York will change with Vespa in. Warren came back to get it. And here is Gable. Two on two back for Boston. Gable thought about the slap shot, then throws it in on a wrister, trying to get a rebound. It was there after Schroeder made the initial kick save. Shelton's pass got knocked down. It was a stick lost on the ice, so New York had to go five on four momentarily before it's played in by Emma Woods. Seeing a lot of rebounds right now on both sides of the ice, so offensively, both teams want to keep that in mind, drive to the net. Taylor Gerard's pass got knocked down. LaBelle playing it forward. Chance for Parker, no problem, Floyd Soderbergh. It's a really good play by Baker, getting down on the ice to block what we told you on that two-on-two. -two. We've seen that pass work a few times. And there was Gable's opportunity looking for the rebound. Eldridge momentarily won a battle, but Boston comes away in behind. Rattray for Schopsel. Good pass to center. Shot in is stopped by Schroeder. Couldn't quite control the rebound after the opportunity from DiGirolamo. Teresa Schopsel plays it onto the blue line. DiGirolamo trying to go upstairs again, and it's waffle board to decide. Howie Draper, nice enough to join us here. Coach, it felt like Boston had some opportunities early, but what have you liked about the way you guys have pushed back over the last few minutes? Yeah, I think we were expecting a surge. I mean, Boston's got a great team. They're playing at home here, so so obviously we we stemmed the tide. Uh, we started turning the momentum, uh, getting it going our way, and so we're quite happy with how we responded. Many thanks for the time, Coach. Good luck. Thank you. And I think his point is right, because as we talked about, we saw some chances, but really, in the last few minutes, New York has pushed back well. Maybe another chance here. Abby Rock slides it along the wall. Jaguer goes cross ice pass over for Fellman. Her shot came in on Soderberg and it knocks aside. Where Jakes plays it off the wall for Boston. Shots are officially 7 4 in favor of Boston. New York doing an excellent job right now, keeping possession while making the change. It's what has allowed them to stay in their offensive zone. Emma Woods cycling around. Woods who scored the game winner in overtime against Minnesota last weekend, giving Minnesota its first loss of the season. Draper's been Maybe even pleasantly surprised with the offense that Woods has provided in the early going as Rattray plays it in the backhand. Everybody's spinning around in the neutral zone there. And Boston comes away with possession. Marvin down the wall, tried to throw a backhand with a cutter in front, but couldn't quite connect on the pass, and then a penalty is coming up. Zafudo threw the hit on the near wall. And an 8.06 remaining in the first period, we'll see our first power play opportunity of the day. Zafudo, she's a really physical player. She's definitely someone who is really enjoying how physical this league is. And she is, she's one of those players that she's going to be in the box. So she isn't afraid to take penalties. But yeah, right there you see her just clip her a bit. And it will give Boston power play advantage right now. Boston one for nine to begin the season on the power play. This is especially the spot where you see, you know, only three games into the season. So it still takes some time to develop through. New York second best on the penalty kill this year, 89%. They're 16 for 18 to begin the year. Hillary Knight starts up by Sprank got a piece of it. It's in for Shirley. So officially interference is the call and a chance for Carpenter looked like momentarily was there. Carpenter's gonna give it some time. Abby Rock comes through. Rock with a nifty move but couldn't get anything on goal beyond Megan Keller. So far, New York doing a really nice job on this kill. Yeah, and it all started because they were aggressive as soon as Boston entered the zone. When you're on the PK and you make it difficult for the power play to set up and you attack right away, it makes it so difficult for them. 
Bouncing puck still loose on the near side. Kayla Vespa gets it out with 57 seconds remaining on the interference penalty against Safudo. Austin finally comes away with possession. Slap shot is controlled by Schroeder. Took a while, but finally Boston kind of established some possession there, and Rattray was the one with the opportunity. Really good penalty kill by New York. They're picking their spots on when to be aggressive, when not, and this face-off is huge to get possession for Boston and set up right now. Another opportunity here on the setup. Murren throws it in. It got knocked down, hit a skate. Rattray comes right back down to get it. Pass comes all the way across for Gable. Throws it in front with a tip try, and it comes deflected wide from Schopsel. New York couldn't get it out on the first opportunity, but now Norcross does get it down the ice with just 10 seconds remaining on the penalty time. So it'll officially be two shots on goal on the power play for Boston. And New York one for one on the kill. 6.01 remaining in this first period. No score between New York and Boston. This is icing with 5.53 remaining. So a couple of opportunities on the power play for Boston. We see it right here and Lauren Gable gets the puck to the net and almost tipped it in, but overall Boston's power play their next opportunity, they're really going to want to create more chances and generate more shots to the net. It was Schopsel who tried for the deflection in front, coming from the University of Vermont. Someone I think is going to end up being looked at as a steal in the seventh round of the first ever PWHL draft. This is turned over in the slot. Gable peels away, trying to give it down for DiGirolamo. But New York did a good job reestablishing its positioning and forced it back out to center. A lot of open ice for Hillary Knight. Plays it around with Mueller coming on now. Mueller, who is third in the league at points per game to begin the season, behind Alex Carpenter and Ella Shelton of New York. Knight. Gives it back up for Jakes. Walks in with a lot of room. That got deflected before it got to goal. And this is what we saw earlier in the game for Boston. Good four check, getting a lot of chances. Another one from Jakes. And Schroeder with the kick save. Eldridge forced it in for 39 remaining in this opening stanza of a scoreless game. Hit a skate, Shelton keeps it in. Nice close down on her quickly, so Abby Rock can only play it around. Baker spins one towards the net. Boston was right there, no problem. For Sophie Jakes. Sends it over to Gerard. Her shot in, stick save. Made by Schroeder. So Corinne Schroeder's had to be active early on in this game, and she's been equal to everything so far. Orard back the other way. That slid through the crease with room on the back side for Jaguer, but just couldn't get a stick on it. So the ice starting to open up a little bit. This line has been good today. Orard brings it back in. A loose handle on the puck. And Boston brings it out to center. So we've gone a while without a whistle here. 323 remaining. No score, first period. Downey Landry plays it back around, finds Emma Woods. Woods along the wall. There's a stick down on the ice from a little bit earlier in the sequence, but just something to watch as New York plays on the offensive end. Vespa around the wall for Woods. Turned over on the blue line. 
that shot. Up high, they score! Jade Downey Landry off the turnover on the blue line, goes top shelf over Soderbergh, and New York has a 1-0 lead. Great job by the New York forecheck right here. They were cycling low, working hard. Boston, they almost got the puck out of the zone right here. We thought it was going to come out, but no. Turnover on the blue line, transition. And then Downey Landry shooting the puck with screens in front. That's what you want. And Vespa did a great job skating across Soderbergh's eyes and taking away her ability to see the puck. So the first goal of the season and third point for Jade Downey Landry. And considering the start to the period and considering where the shots are right now, 11 to five, New York has to be very happy to be on top right now with 2.21 remaining. So we'll see how Boston responds here on home ice. Mueller back for Franken. Remember, you said it off the top of the show. Both of these teams have shown an ability to come back over the course of the early portion of the season. Yeah, but that's a feel-good goal for New York. You know that in the locker room, they were all telling each other, hey, guys, let's put the first one in us today. They're used to coming back from behind, so to get that first one, it's just kind of a take a deep breath, they did it, and then move on. Shops all along the wall in front of the penalty box. Keller couldn't connect on a teammate. Feldman tried to throw it back in. Jakes was there on the line momentarily before Arard is back in with some space. Arard throws it across. Nice move, but a good save by Soderberg. What an opportunity from Jaguar moving right down the slot. But Soderberg with a good stop to keep it 1-0 New York with 1.18 to go in the first. So final 25 seconds here in the first. Thelman on the bouncing puck, controlled by Soderberg. Good centering pass, and it's controlled by Soderberg. That is the dangerous Jesse Eldridge, who had the opportunity in the slot. And boy, another good setup by Abby Rock, who's had a good first period. And Eldridge, she has been playing excellent in her game so far, and she has a nose for the net, and you see it here. Excellent shot, but you need bodies in front, and Soderbergh's gonna save that shot all day long. Comes free, Hobson missed it high. Then it bounced, sat loose, Hobson got a piece of it coming in, right as the horn sounded. That initial shot missed high, but then the way it kicked off the boards, it kind of sat there in a dangerous area. But in the end, ends up staying out, and it's 1-0 New York. Jade Downey Landry, nice enough to join us here during the intermission, a 1-0 lead for New York on your first goal of the season. Take me through that play after what initially looked like you were kind of throwing a pass, and then it ends up scoring the goal. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly what happened, you know. Uh, we had a lot of communication out there. Uh, I tried to slip it through, it didn't go through, and I just sent it to the net and hoped for the best, and, you know, good things happened. And Boston came out really strong. How did you like the way your team responded? Yeah, you know, we knew, we knew Boston was a fast and strong team. Uh, we adjusted throughout the period, and I think that's what we're going to keep working on uh, for the second and third. Many thanks to the time, Jake. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. So again, the goal by Jade Downey Landry is the difference at the moment. With New York out to the 1-0 lead over Boston. Alex Carpenter on the ice to take the opening face up. Uh, period number two along with Hannah Brandt. We are off here and immediately it was stopped on the line momentarily by Rattray. Before New York brings it in again. Boston in the green sweaters, New York is in white. First of five meetings this year between these two teams across the 24-game regular season schedule. Carpenter in, great move to stop. It's loose in front, and they score. 
Jesse Eldridge followed up the play on the rebound. And New York has a 2-0 lead early in the second. We've been talking about Alex Carpenter and how powerful she is all game long. And she was able to show off her speed on this play. It's what started the whole play. We'll see it right here. She's able to get past Keller, who she's fast as well, and does this little move that the amount of skill that a player needs to be able to, she's going as fast as she can, make that move and still have the puck and get a shot off. And great job by Eldridge being a layer coming in and getting that rebound. That was overall beautiful team effort goal. And because of her speed, it brings the defense with her and then nobody's left home to pick up the trailer. And that is Jesse Eldridge, the 26-year-old from Ontario with her fourth goal of the season. She came into this game second in the PWHL in shots per game at just under five per contest. So Eldridge from Carpenter. Austin putting one back on for Mueller, who got a piece of it before it's played around. Back onto the blue line, and Emily Brown. Her shot is blocked clean out front by Chloe Arard. Arard along the wall. Good pass over to Rock. Her shot stopped by Soderberg, with Emma Woods cutting across the slot. Kelke tried to get forward. So, so far, New York deserves some credit from shutting down that Gable, Mueller, and Knight line. They did have one or two chances early in that first period, but pretty well shut down. That is right in front. It hit off the back of the net and went over top of Schroeder in a dangerous area. Good but job by Baker right there, being right on Marvin, making it hard for her to get that rebound. New York coming back in, they score! She Downey Landry with her second of the game. And New York surging to a 3-0 lead. New York showing how dangerous they are on transition. And J. Downey Landry, just beautiful low hard shot. And I want to know if Soderbergh got screened by her defenseman right there, but beautiful play. Looks like they are just confirming the goal on video review as Jade Downey Landry scores her second of the game and a change in goal for Boston is Aaron Frankel. The 24 year old will come into the game make her third appearance of the season after New York beats Soderbergh a couple of times. So Frankel who starred at Northeastern 2021 Patty Kazmaier award winner will move in goal for Boston. Another chance back the other way from Taylor Wenskowski, and that's up high for Schroeder. Shaguer over for Orard. This line's been really good tonight. Rock. Look to play a backhand pass through that got knocked down. And Rock is right back on it. Hillary Knight got a piece of it, but Bourbonnet's shot. That got blocked by Mueller in her skates. And Mueller lost an edge as Bourbonnet got it back. Rock, who switched spots, plays it back in for Jaguer. And Arard. Emily Brown finally gets it out for Boston. Here's Knight. Momentary numbers, tried to slide it forward for Mueller, but Arard with a really good read against where her former teammate was going to be and took away the lane for Mueller to get to that puck. Hillary Knight starting it again. Knight comes back center, trying to get it back for Gable, but there was just a lot of traffic in the slot for New York and nowhere to pass that puck.
Here's Woods coming in. Woods is shot up high. And first chance for Frankel to fight it off. So first save for Aaron Frankel since coming into the game. New York right now, they're doing a really good job executing on their passes. They're making it tape to tape. It sounds so simple, but being simple, that is what gets you wins. And that's why they're owning the game right now. Baker threw it across, got all the way through to the far wall. Baker got it ahead for Downey Landry, who's two goals today. Biggest total for New York, up by three. Coming back is Boston. That shot got knocked down. Amanda Pelkey trying to move through after a turnover in the neutral zone. Shots in this second period are 5-1 in favor of New York. But Boston pushing back, shot and a chance, good block. Johanna Fellman was the one who got in position against DiGirolamo coming right through. A nice play by Keller. She was able to see that she had all the ice in the world to skate it, and that's what started that play. So this time in the second, it's New York who had the early chances, but now four in a row with the scoring chances for Boston. And you just see that block. Honestly, that's really tight to block a shot basically on top of your goalie, but I mean, it worked and kept the puck out of the net. And you, you can tell by her face she wants that one back. So a decent response here for Boston. Down by three all of a sudden with two early goals in this second period. Also another thing if you're Boston that you're telling the team right now on the bench is there's still so much hockey, so much time left. Boston pushing back, Winskowski. Give it a long for D'Argangelo's out there with Gerard on this Fourth line for Boston, down by three here. Still early stages, second period from the Sangha Center. Aldridge who scored 26 seconds into the second period, followed up by Downey Landry, 2.04 in an assist to Kayla Vespa on that second Downey Landry goal. And right now, with it being the second period, you have that long change. If you're able to change while having possession in the offensive zone, you're going to hem in the opposing team because of the where the benches are, long change. Taken away by Abby Rock. Rock with space on the backhand, tried to throw it across for Peyton Levis. Couldn't quite connect. New York couldn't keep it in, so has to tag up. Orard knocked it down. And onside, Chloe Orard, it's stopped by Frankel. Orard back around again, sends it for Baker. He slides across for Ellis Shelton, back for Baker. Decides to throw it to the corner for Rock to catch up with it, who's been out there a long time. She was out there ahead of some of the other skaters on her line. As New York got caught in a change on that long shift and it's brought out to center. So again, the period started to even out a little bit. Those 6-1 still shots on goal in favor of New York. That is turned over right in front. Good save, Schroeder. Gable came right through and knocked it off the right pad. That is kept in nearly off another turnover. Then a bouncing puck ends up in the corner. Hillary Knight is in deep. Mueller got taken down and a penalty coming up. And Boston will go to the power play for the second time this afternoon. So New York will have to go to the penalty kill for the second time today. They are in the midst of this road trip, the third of a four-game trip 
here in the middle of the season, which certainly got off to a very good start. Winning three to two at Minnesota. A.G. Marvin picks it up, it comes loose. Rattray moving through again and missed one. So two opportunities in a row, miss the net, and this is down the other end with 122 remaining on the penalty time. Pretty good movement overall on that Boston power play, though, that. And it's out front here for Sophie Shirley. Comes all the way in, establishes possession. Keller for Knight. Gives it back for Keller. Over for Alina Mueller. Sends it back down low. Mueller's got it back. Keller once more. Sets up Knight on the opposite side. Hurt John in. What a save! Excellent shot by Hillary Knight right there. Good job by Brand being in front of Schroeder. Trying to screen, take her eyes away. But I like the movement up top between Keller, Knight, and Mueller. Well, I think you definitely have to be pleased with the movement there as Boston tries to get their power play flowing here a little bit. And movement is so important on the power play. It's what opens up lanes. Here is Keller up top. Back over for Mueller. Down at 29 seconds remaining on the penalty time. Knight, one timer. Oh, that's an excellent save by Schroeder. But it sits loose. Woods didn't have a stick, so she pushes it back to her goaltender, who covers up with 21 seconds remaining on the penalty. A heady play there by Emma Woods understanding that this puck was loose and she could do nothing with it. What an opportunity for Boston right now. We see it's just a scramble in front and right there, the, the urgency for Boston to get to the net, it needs to be a little bit faster to, when you see that rebound. Everyone should be flying in right now. It's right there, right there. Woods had no stick, so close. But I, the movement right now, I keep saying it, but it looks good on this Boston power play. And again, there's, there's reasons for optimism with it, because you'd like to see that movement. But obviously, once you start to get to game four, you obviously needed to find the back of the net a little bit as well. And that's kind of that line early in the season. How much are you tinkering? How much are you trusting it? Mueller comes in, penalty time expires now. So a couple of good chances for Boston. That's on the side of the net. Back here, try Knight. Still loose before Schroeder covers with 9.01 remaining in the second period. Boston head coach Courtney Kessel, nice enough to join us here. Coach, what have you seen? It felt like some good movement on that power play, obviously. What have you seen from that power play unit on the two chances so far? Yeah, some great opportunities. We got to get the net and find those loose pucks, but uh, it was good to see us have some opportunities, build some momentum. Many thanks for the time, Coach. Good luck. Thank you. Lauren back to get it with Rock right there. And here's Lauren Gable. Tried to play it along the wall for Knight, but that was read well by New York. And New York can bring it back in. Pass comes across. Morin got a piece of it. Well, Excellent Morin job by Shiger. Morin right there. Talk, communicating, talking, telling her forwards where she wants them on that defensive play. Mueller puts it back to center. Baker will return it with 7.32 here to go in the second. Another smart play by Morin right there. I thought she was going to go cross ice to make that pass, but she realized she was taking too much time. And if the more you think, the less you can, that open, that cross ice pass is open. So smart play by her moving it up along the wall. Morin's one of those players you love to have on a roster. Was an all-star last year in the PHF and has put together a strong game today on the back end for Boston. Trying to turn back the other way with Pelkey. It comes loose to Gigi Marvin for the near side, hit the post. What a chance for Marvin. Bidding for her first goal of the season. 
One timer that got bounced down on the try from Savannah Norcross. There's another Massachusetts native on this New York roster along with Alex Carpenter. Norcross cycling. Another shot missed high from Alexandra Lobel. More minutes for this fourth line grouping for New York. Parker, Lobel, and Norcross. Zafudo knocks it in. Norcross again tried to center. Di Girolamo was there. Lobel, this line, pretty good forward check. Had some chances on it, but now Boston brings it out. Pelkey was at the end of his shift, so has to dump in with 5.39 to go in the second. Pretty good forward check right now by New York. They're doing a good job helping out when they know that they're the layer back into attack. Carpenter cycles back in at a 3-0 lead for New York, looking for their third victory of the season. Both of these teams at five points in the early going. Everybody looking up at Minnesota at the moment. Okay, the first month of this inaugural PWHL season. Brown couldn't get it out. Hopson held the line momentarily before finally pushed forward by Darkangelo. Her pass trying to come back across for Wenskowski. Stuck on the blue line. A lot of bobbling pucks right now. Around the blue line, the scary areas. Shopsall ends up holding the line. Shopsall comes in, and that one, I'm not even sure that got to Schroeder. Schroeder, it might have been her defense in front who knocked that down first. That one did, though, and Schroeder made a save and then lunges on top with 4.13 to go here in the second period. 3-0 lead for New York, and Corinne Schroeder has been excellent. 16 saves in the game. Has kept Boston off the board. What do you like about her game? Right now, she's doing an excellent job hopping on those second and third rebounds. Comes free to Megan. Keller throws it on. It just missed wide. Rebound. They're trying to find those opportunities in the danger area right in front of Schroeder, but New York's done a pretty good job keeping the puck out of there. Yeah, and I mean, she is letting a good amount of rebounds, but she's getting to the, them before Boston is. Even right there, sticks it aside to the near side. Another one comes in. And that is fired around the wall. Here is Hillary Knight. Plays it over for Keller. Plays it back for Knight. Her shot is stopped by Schroeder. Another rebound loose, though. Mueller to Knight. Back to Mueller. Here is Keller now cycling around. One timer controlled by Schroeder. Some good opportunities and now some extracurriculars in front with 3.19 to go in the second. And the officials may have some sorting out to do. I believe that this, all, this scrum started because Brooke Hobson and Hillary Knight See, well, Hobson, here, number six there in white. Yeah, this shot from Keller, really good shot, but look, Schroeder saw the puck the whole way because Hobson was boxing out Knight, being physical, using the body, and then you saw it at the end. Knight fall, fell, and then you see Alina grabbing her old teammate, Brooke Hobson. All the momentum right now on the side of the team of the green sweaters with six consecutive scoring chances. Schroeder has been equal to them all. Norcross comes out with it. Frankel thought about jumping on top, but allows to play it along. I like that play by Aaron Frankel. Up high on Schroeder, then it got knocked down by Keller. Cycles back around, throwing it in front for Knight, couldn't find the puck. 
The reason being that she knew that Keller had so much speed, she figured give it to Keller, let her use her speed, get it off the ice, and start over and take the puck. Eldridge was nearly there off a turnover. 147 remaining in the second. Here is Mueller back in cut slot. Her shot is stopped again by Schroeder on a right pad save. You're right, though. I mean, there are rebounds there. But Schroeder has done enough of a job controlling where they go that Boston has not been able to jump on it. Rattray's shot missed wide that time. In a period that at one point was 6-1 New York in shots, it's now 10-6 Boston. Here is Jakes, who pulls it away from Eldridge. And Schroeder, she's definitely one of those goalies that the more she gets along through the game, the better she is. So the fact that she's hot right now, this late in the second period, she's going to have a sh really strong rest of the game, and it'll be hard for Boston to crack her. But I'm not, they'll still be able to. Jakes if they throws it across. Another chance missed from Hannah Brandt. Such a fine line, right? Because if you're Boston right now, you feel like the chances are there. Well, because you can see them, the yeah. rebounds, you see them. Thrown right into Levis, who takes it away. Centering try, hit off the skate of Jakes. The Ark will just put it in the corner off the face-off win. And that's what I mean. The face-off loss in the offensive zone. Can't have any scoring opportunity off that. So New York does a good job surviving a flurry of chances from Boston. And the visitors have a 3-0 lead after two. Welcome back to the Sangha Center. 3-0 lead for New York over Boston. And Megan Keller, nice enough to join us here during the intermission. Boy, it felt like there were a lot of chances there down the stretch for you guys. What did you like the way you guys played in the back half of that second period? Yeah, you know, it's tough to go down three early. We took a couple minutes off, but the way we ended that period, if we could start the third like that and maybe get one or two in and uh, turn this momentum around a little bit. Megan, what's the biggest key going into the third? I think continue to put pucks deep, move our feet. Once we can possess in zone and, and work it up high and get our shots through, I think our forwards are going to go to work. And uh, we're doing a pretty good job of that so far, and we just got to get one in here. Many thanks for the time, Megan. Good luck. Thank you. Both of these teams with two wins and five points on the season at a tie for third place. Boston, obviously, two games in hand. As they all look up in Minnesota right now, who has points in each of their five games so far. Scheduled to play 24 across this inaugural regular season, at least four in head-to-head -head matchups with each of the original six teams in the PWHL. Remember, one of the differences in the PWHL from the NHL is it's three points for a win, two points for an overtime or shootout win, and then one point for an overtime or shootout loss. So that's how you get the five points for Boston and New York so far. Bueller wins the faceoff. A little bit of a change here, at least to start the period for Boston. Taylor Wenskowski is up on this line with Mueller and Knight. So we'll see if Boston does some tinkering of their lines a little bit as Courtney Kessel tries to find, I don't even know if it's fair to say tries to find some offense. They've had offense, but tries to find some goals here down by three. And Wenskowski, she's a hard, tough, physical player, and if you throw her on the line with Knight and Mueller, she's gonna do the dirty work, grind in the corners, all that. It's not gonna be a pretty goal, the first one. Karin Schroeder, 24 years of age. Played her college hockey at BU. BU's all-time leader in save percentage before going to Quinnipiac for a grad year and then starred with the Boston Pride a year ago. And was the PHF Goalie of the Year. And now netminding in New York. Morin walks in, and a save by Schroeder. Mueller in behind, centers up, they score! <laughs> Lauren Gable takes another assist from Alina Mueller, and Boston is on the board. It's 3-1. The touch of a goal scorer, that's what Lauren Gable did right here. Alina Mueller did a great job. I said it earlier, so much room behind the net. She had all that room, gave it to Gable, no stick handling, just a little tap off her backhand, making it so for Schroeder so hard to see the puck. If she stick handled right there, would have taken away. 
more of her time. Smart play by Gable, just tapping it in. And Mueller now. And again, the impressive thing of her five assists, that's now assists in four of them in the last two games. All of them have been primary assists from Alina Mueller. Well, she she's so up smart in the way she, she can have the puck and just skate to anywhere open and it opens up so much lanes for her passing. Amanda Pelkey just missed wide. Around for Keller. Pelkey picks it up in behind, centering try, bouncing puck. No one knew where it was for a moment. Schroeder certainly not as it was on the side of her net before it comes down the other end and Jake's back to get it. So three to one game now is some life for the home team is Gable with Mueller and Brown picking up assists at 112 of this third period. So the second period in a row and early starts really kind of builds the momentum of where this is gonna go. That got deflected on the try by Taylor Gerard with a cutting D'Arcangelo in front. Taken away though on the blue line, Peyton Levis. Skaters back for New York, four on two. Bouncing puck, Carpenter whacked it out of the air and couldn't get it on goal. Cycling around again, Carpenter into the slot. And her shot got knocked down in front. Rebound try against Franco, she stopped it and then is sprawled out as helped out by her defense and Taylor Gerard brings it around. Di Girolamo. That was a really smart play, cutting back by her, knowing that she's the only one on their, her team, they're changing. So by cutting back, it allowed her team to have the time to skate into the zone and dish it off, and then she could change. Smart play. Lifted out of play on the near side. Nothing beats watching your favorite team live. Get tickets to PWHL games to catch all the action. Visit the pwhl.com slash tickets to secure your seats today. And seats have been secured for this one. It is a packed house here at the Sanga Center in Lowell, Mass. The home of PWHL Boston in this inaugural season. A great atmosphere this afternoon. For one of two games today across the league, Toronto and Montreal will be in action tonight. Mueller in, saves runner, rebound, oh, it was blown down. An inadvertent whistle when Schroeder did not have that puck with 16.23 to go in the third. And you see the passion that Alina Mueller is showing right here. Not happy with them calling or blowing the whistle before. You see it right here, Schroeder. That little rebound. Well, it, you know, putting aside, obviously, an inadvertent whistle, but Schroeder, for as good as she's been, you don't usually think of a game with this many rebounds as a goalie playing this well. But for the most part, she's been pretty good, even with the rebound like there, kind of using her pads, trusting her defense, and allowing some of those plays to carry on, directing them in some areas. It seems like she knows where her rebounds are like right away, like she's getting to them so quickly. Vespa, it's turned over. Vespa had to hustle in to take that away from Gigi Marvin. Downey Landry leaves it behind and a blocker save by Frankel. Vespo with a good shift for New York. New York trying to turn the tide back here. Still up three to one, but the momentum on the side of Boston. Shots are six one here in the third period. And in fact, if you go back to the end of the second, Boston has 16 of the last 18 shots on goal in this game. They get 17 of 19 as that backhand was controlled. No problem by Schroeder with the left pass. Turn back in Rattray. Snuck a little bit far away from her, so gives it off to Di Girolamo. Boston's four check has had some good moments in this game. It does come out to center here. Five minutes gone in the third, three to one New York. Lobble coming straight down the ice. 
Uses the boards, has Levis. Throws one towards the slot, knocked down. Geralimo got it in her skates. A let's go Boston chant emerging from the Lowell crowd. Carpenter off the boards. Remember Carpenter set up what right now would be the winning goal in a three to one game that Eldridge followed up. Hops into the corner. Where Mueller is right on it. Shirley lifts it in, was controlled in the slot by Ella Shelton. Shots are now up to 29 to 17 for the game in favor of Austin. They've outshot New York in all three periods despite trailing three to one at the moment. Shirley back into the play to set up this opportunity for Marvin to play it down the wall. Nice and called here against New York. Forced it in. Where Bourbonnet knocked it right back. Hillary Knight. Not sure we've really seen any kind of consistent combinations here for Boston in the third. Brandt is out there right now. Along with Ratchray and Knight. So this even a little bit of a different combo than we saw at the beginning of the third period for Boston, different than what was on the line chart to begin today. Just trying to piece it together and maybe find two in the final 12 minutes this evening. Woods played it off the wall. Rattray was there, but it could only play it right back against the Dashers. There is Brandt. Plays it around for Di Girolamo. Schopsel back for Di Girolamo with Woods closest to her. We've seen a lot of this zone time the last few minutes. Winding up, that's blocked in front. Shelton was there and then lost her footing, got tied up with Di Girolamo. Impressive play by Morin right there. Being able to stop the puck right there while having pressure come at you. And it's numbers back the other way for New York. Carpenter in, missed wide. So that's kind of the other side of kind of selling out with Boston needing two right now. It was a three on one back for New York and Alex Carpenter had the opportunity. Keller nifty move. With 10.45 remaining here in the third. Keller broke her stick, so she has to go all the way back to the bench for a new one with Boston down a player at the moment. She comes off, Di Girolamo will just come back on. And Mueller will come out as well. 10.26 to go, third period, three to one, New York. Jakes off a bouncing puff, tough angle shot by Gable, never really had a chance, looking for a tip somewhere. Back to center and Mueller. Here is Knight, comes back over for Jakes. Tough shot, save Schroeder, loose again. Out to the near side and Jakes, throws it on again, but Gable is on the back side, couldn't get her stick on it. Halfway through the third. Well now with Knight, Gable, and Mueller back together at least for that shift. Some good opportunities for Boston. And good job to New York right now in their defensive zone. They're doing a good job keeping their sticks on the ice. It's such a simple thing, but defensively, it's what breaks up plays and breaks up passes. Shagir forcing it forward with Keller right there to meet her. Stopped at the line. Bourbonnet in front trying to get Shagir. 
to knock it down. Rebene returns it right back where it came from. Loose puck, shot missed wide. Kayla Vespa picked it up. Shelton now comes down the wall. Tried to find somebody in the slot, but it was answered by Ratre. Look how quickly Shelton got right back into the play defensively and took the puck away from Boston. Sophie Shirley in deep with Felmont. Savannah Norcross picks it up. Norcross right through the middle. There's four green sweaters there, so nowhere really to go. But New York has, feels like, tilted the ice slightly, or maybe at least balanced it out a little bit over the last minute and a half. They're doing a good job making it hard for Boston to really break the puck out right now. Knight got a piece, so no icing. In, only got a piece of it, and Schroeder has to cover. Gable wins the race down the other end, and then gets pinned in well by Shelton. Just a smooth play. Sometimes you don't even notice those good defensive plays like that, but Shelton's done a really nice job here in the third period. Well, as much as all of this offense that we've seen, Starting to get late early here for Boston. With just 6.48 to go in the third and needing two. Ratchet cuts back to center, but no one was there to help. So Jaguar throws it back in behind. Anna Brandt couldn't establish possession away from J.B. Bourbonnet. Jaguar gets pinned in. Here is Abby Rock, centered up, looking for Chloe Arard. Have not been as many chances for New York, obviously, with Boston chasing the game here in the third, but this group, as Woods shot, got knocked down in the skates. But that Arard, Rock, and Jaguar group was really good on the offensive end in the first couple of periods. They were. They're all so, so smart. And Chloe Arard, she is able to find lanes and get Sliding right in front of that shot to the save. Rebound was there, and it just missed. Keller set it up. Gigi Marvin was the one camped in front. And another one with a rebound available is for the win of the race for icing. And Toronto just lost their most recent game to Boston at home. Puck right in front of the net, guided to the near wall by Shelton once again, who's made a couple of big defensive plays. Here is Mueller, sets across for Knight, backhand try, and it's kicked aside. Then it's loose in front. Oh boy, Knight tried to throw it off the back of Schroeder, who is out of position, having to make a sprawling save on the other side, and it just did not go with five minutes remaining here in the third period. What a smart play by Knight, trying to bounce it off of Schroeder. She's one of the best players in the world in front of the net, and what a chance for Boston. So Mueller and Knight, that connection, which has worked so well along with Gable. And Trey sends it along. 4.35 to go in the third. Boston needs two. Hops in, and then it's forced out by Eldridge. Isaac waved off late there. Excellent job getting back into the play on Alex Carpenter's good effort. And that's just pure hustle and determination, what she just did. Howie Draper, love to talk about how competitive Carpenter is in everything she does, whether it's her scoring, whether it's her face-offs, whether it's plays like that, which help you put away a game. You 
Under if Boston would think about an extra skater with 344 remaining down by two. Jake slap shot missed wide. Catches the glass on the way through. Jaguer back for Bourbonnet. Jaguer trying to get around Keller. Did enough to force it forward. There's an outlet for Knight. Waits for everybody else to come on. Pass was too far ahead of Mueller. Hit Mueller's mass though, and she knocked it down in the process. Mueller in behind. Has an assist from that area already today. Slides over for Brown. Abel once again picks it up. Marvin around for Mueller, waiting, centering, try in front. Knight got a piece of it, but couldn't get it on goal. And it's brought out to center by Jade Downey. Landry who puts it in the empty net. A hat trick for Downey Landry on the empty netter. And New York leads four to one. Excellent job being patient by Downey Landry right here in the middle of the ice. She is able to crowd the puck, use her hands, soft hands, and she didn't rush anything. You see it right here. Continues with the play. Right now, some players, they would try and just send it down right away, and it could be an icing, but she was patient, and she ripped the puck when she knew she had it. Got a couple of hats on the ice for her. Remember, came in having not scored a goal yet this year. Jade Downey Landry, who played in the PHF for Montreal last year. What a game it has been, and New York has a four to one lead. Really just moments after Boston pulled Frankel. 2.33 remaining. That was just New York's third shot on goal of this third period. Again, it's 21 of the last 24 shots on goal in this game have belonged to Boston. They ran into a good goaltender. Cycled around and that one missed wide again. Kelke, back for Brown. And brought to center by Arard. So if New York can hold on, it would be their third win of the season and second in regulation, which would move them up to eight points through six games played. Boston still looking for their first win on home ice. It's their second game. Mueller back in, tried to play it forward. Knight got taken out of the play by Zabuto. Gable again, her shot. Schroeder finds that one too with 1.09 to go in the third. Today's just an example of Goalies really can steal games for their team, and overall, just New York's defense, they did a really good job in their own end, and made it so difficult for Boston to put pucks in the net. Coming up with the final minute here from Lowell, another one across that missed wide with Norcross coming in along with Lobel. That Parker, Lobel, and Norcross line, which played a lot after New York built the lead to three to one at the end of the second and then here in the third period. So certainly not the shot margin when you talk about putting a game away if you're New York, but to their credit, everything but. And they had the performance in goal. A little insult to injury there. Woods on possession here in the final five seconds. It's win number three of the season for New York. 
as they come to Boston and pick up a four to one victory. Thanks to the hat trick from Jade Downey Landry.